I had to do a blooper reel. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over our November TBR and I do have a special guest that's gonna be coming on the channel in just a second. But I wanted to review what I'm planning on reading with ebooks this month in November. So spooky season is over, all of our Halloween reads are done, but with us it's spooky all year round. So the first ebook that I'm planning on reading is the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. And I am super late to the game on this one, I'm pretty sure everyone else has read this book in the community, and I've heard some really really good things. I did read My Best Friend's Exorcism last year by Grady Hendrix and I gave it a full five stars. It was in my top five reads of the year. So really really have high hopes for this one. And if you don't know anything about this book, which I'm sure you all do, it has to do with a bunch of southern women who have a book club and they love to sit around and gossip and they believe that a vampire has moved into their community so it creates a whole bunch of mystery and they're trying to figure everything out so from what i hear this is supposed to be a great horror comedy and like i said have high hopes for this one so that's the first ebook that i'm planning on reading this month and the next one is going to be volume one of pray lied eve by my friend lydia peaver she has a channel here on youtube as well most of you know her very well and I'll have all of her credentials linked down below. So this is Lydia's short story collection and she calls it The Tales of the Untoward and Pray Lied Eve Volume 3 just recently came out I believe last week so I wanted to hop on the bandwagon here and get the first one read and I have high hopes for this one as well. Lydia is a great storyteller and I want to make sure I'm not only supporting her as a friend but I'm really excited to read her twisted tales. So those are the two ebooks that I'm planning on reading this month and for our physical books I will bring on our special guest. So everyone this is my husband Matthew and Matthew is very nervous to be on camera so it might be a little awkward but I thought this would be fun. So what I had Matthew do was pick one book per shelf on this side of my shelves and I thought it would be fun if whatever he picks I have to read in the month of November. So what's your first book? Well hello everybody, Matthew here. Um, just to let you know I did read a book once, it was James and the Giant Peach. Uh, off the first shelf I did pick Haunted Peak District. Um, never read it. I'm not a big reader to be honest with you but I am trying to support Elizabeth on helping her do this YouTube video. Um, all in all game, I did choose the books myself. Yeah, so let's go through them. So why did you pick this one? I picked this one just because, uh, I believe it was the back, what is, I don't even know what it is. Synopsis? Synopsis, is that what it is? Yeah. I'm sure, the back synopsis, um, it just, seemed very appealing and uh ghost stories very ghost stories if i were to read i'm sure i would thoroughly enjoy this book so this book is uh one that is out from the uk so it's haunted peak district by jill armitage and funny enough i had ordered this book on amazon and then totally forgot that i had ordered it which is probably not a good thing that i'm losing track of my amazon orders but I had heard that this Peak District uh, in Derbyshire over in the UK is quite a haunted place. So this goes through a lot of the tales about strange happenings that happened over in Derbyshire. And I don't think it's um, just ghost stories. I think they have like weird sightings and stuff like that that happened over there as well. So Matthew is totally into all of that kind of thing. He loves UFOs, loves Bigfoot stories, so not surprised that you picked this one honestly. So excited to get into this one. I've heard good things so we'll see how that one goes. Ooh, does that one have pictures? Yeah it does. Score. Matt likes pictures. <laughs> uh, second shelf I did pick uh, Hex Life. Um, I 
chose this one just because it's filled with gore and glory. Uh, it says it's about witches. I thought that's up Elizabeth's alley and that's yeah. why I picked this one. So this one again is another um, book of short stories. So like with this one, you got a bunch of short stories in here. So I'm liking the way this TBR is shaping up already. I love short stories, especially if I'm in any kind of a reading slump. It's a great way to get out of a reading slump. So on the back here, it does say that it is filled with gore and glory. So from what I know about this book, it is all stories that revolve around witches and witchery. I have heard good things about this one. And honestly, I bought this book purely because of the cover. It's just beautiful cover art. And yeah, so excited about this one as well. Well, and the third one is actually why I picked this one was because of the cover. It looks pretty good. I like the look of it. <laughs> I like pictures. So this is why I picked this one. <laughs> so next up we have Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy. And I believe this is the first in a series. I believe it's quite a long series uh, and they are middle grade type books. So, you know, the print is fairly large. Uh, so it is a fairly chunky book, but going to be really quick to get through. And from what I've read on Goodreads, this sounds like a really, really cool series. Fast paced and I mean, you know, like Matt said, you got this wonderful cover art here with this skeleton dude. Uh, with fire in his hands. And on the back here it says, make no bones about it. Skullduggery Pleasant serves up a thoroughly satisfying blend of humor, magic, and adventure. If <laughs> you'll be clamoring for a sequel. And it says hugely enjoyable, a thrill a minute adventure. So sounds good to me. Um, going to be a fast paced middle grade read and if I enjoy this one I'm definitely going to be picking up more in this series. Take me a year to read that book. The other book that I choose off the last shelf was A Guide for Murdered Children, a novel. Once again I did read the synopsis on the back, I did enjoy that. As well I like the nice pink cover, it looks pretty creepy, not gonna lie. You know you got talk about murdered children with this uh, pink cover with a sparkly unicorn on there and it says on the back here in this astonishing novel Sarah Sparrow has joined the ranks of Shirley Jackson and Stephen King a warning there is no safe place to read this book so basically what's happening in this book is the spirits of murdered children can come back and possess someone and I guess take revenge on whoever it was that uh, wronged them in life. So definitely right out my alley. Unfortunately, I heard only mediocre things about this book. So we'll definitely have to see how it goes, but it sounds like a great story. That's it. That would be it. The box is empty. That is all I did choose out of the four shelves. Uh, she does have other shelves. I believe that would be another day, another video. Yeah, so um, I think I definitely want to do this again. It was a lot of fun. I have trouble choosing my books sometimes, the ones that I want to read off the shelves here. I get very overwhelmed. So I really like this, that it was a total surprise. I had no idea what was in the box. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you enjoyed meeting my significant other finally, Matthew. So if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a question or a comment down below because you know I love chatting with you guys. But until next time, stay spooky everybody. Bye.